Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers and um, all my returning subscribers. I've been loving this. I've been doing it for oh, almost nine months now. I'm really surprised. I've uh, really enjoyed uh, showing you my whips and my purchases and my finished items. Today is whip weekend number 29. It's hard to believe 29, but here we are. I um, I've had a very, very busy week again. Last weekend, we had my granddaughter Paige for four days. So she was very demanding, but I did get a little bit of time to do some crocheting and some knitting done. So let's start with our whips this morning. My first whip is a C2C blanket. I had shown you my finished one last week, I believe. And I got a couple comments. I had mentioned it was a little loose and I got a couple comments and one of them was from ja from Jackie D. I don't want to put her whole name out there. And um, she suggested instead of um, chaining six, chain five at your turns and instead of chaining three at the beginning of each little uh, cluster, chain two. And I did do that and it is much tighter. It's taking a little bit more time, but that's fine. And um, here is my new corner to corner. I have not sewn my whips in, my ends in. I'm still working on it. It's not showing green, but it's a little bit greener. It's a blue green and um, it's working up really great. It's not as holy as um, the normal way I do it. So I'm really pleased and thank you, Jackie. And a couple other people suggested it too, but I'm working on that. I'm probably, halfway done now well no more than halfway done and um this should get done hopefully this weekend like i said last weekend was very very busy with my granddaughter she did have a birthday party to go to and i had to drive probably about a half an hour to get to the birthday party but she really wanted to go and it was a two hour birthday party in one of those um, jungle gym areas and uh, it was secure enough. So I went and sat in the car and um, I did do a little bit of knitting. So like I said, I'm not a very fast knitter and I'm on my hat to match the dragon um, scale shawl that I made. And I probably got, oh, two, two and a half inches of knitting done. So I'm really pleased with that. So this now it's just straight um, knitting until I get to the top of the hat and then I will uh, reduce. And I'm using um, five millimeter needles and I am using the Red Heart Unforgettable. So I'm really happy with this and I did get a little bit done. So hopefully it won't take me a month to make a hat this time. That's another whip. And um, let me get the next ones. I did another five uh, snowflakes for my second snowflake blanket that I'm making. So got a little bit of progress on that. Um, the blankets for me. So I usually put my projects on the back burners, but I did get a little bit done. So I'm very pleased with that. And this is just a bag that I picked up on Michael's at Michael's for clearance. Keep that in there. I'm just going to check these off because last time I forgot a few things, so I didn't want to forget this time. And I will add the pattern of the snowflake blanket below again. And um, the next thing I started, I was watching, like I do most mornings, watching uh, YouTube. And I really um, love watching Crochet with Me Lovely. She has some great tips and it's on the floor, sorry. <laughs> And she was doing a rectangle granny square. So I started one. I am using all my scraps and my tangled yarn that I got from Cambridge Fibers. And the reason I started this is usually when I do a rectangle, I start and in the middle here, it's usually just the chain and it gets really loose and I really don't like the way it started off. But what she does, she uh, does her chain and then does a row of single crochets and it closes it up so much better. And I really like the way that is. So I started another blanket when I haven't even finished the last one. So that's what I'm working on also. I really like the technique. I will uh, link the, uh, the YouTube channel and the actual pattern 
down below, but I'm happy with this. And like I said, it's just gonna be another scrap can and it probably will be for wheelchairs. So I have met and succeeded my uh, goal of 20 uh, wheelchair lap gans. So I'm really happy about that. I've got a couple more to go. I'm gonna be doing the um, marquee challenge with uh, Heather the Crochet Witch and Sandy A at Canada. And I will link their links below and you can go watch what they uh, are doing for their uh, marquee challenge. And the last thing I started, it's because uh, my granddaughter saw a basket I made and she said she wanted a basket to put her dolly's laundry in. So I started a basket and it's actually holding the yarn that I'm using. And I'm holding three together. I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And um, just uh, did my circle. And the first time I did it, like I started the way you normally would. I put um, two double crochets in each and then I went to one double crochet in each and it started getting wavy. So I ripped it all back. And in my second row, I doubled it again. And that seemed to keep it very flat. So that's the blanket there. And these are just tangled yarns that I got from my tangled yarn. And she picked the colors. She likes the, the bright colors. So she will have a basket probably next weekend. So that's what I've done there. And those are my whips that I started this week. And um, they've been fun. I don't usually have this many whips on the go. But um, when I see something that I like, and especially the uh, rectangle granny square, I just had to try it right away. So I decided to try it. And that's it for finished items. I, or sorry, for my whips. I don't have that many finished items today. I, um, like I said, I had my granddaughter for four days on the weekend and it was busy, busy, busy. I got to do a little bit and only what she wanted done. So that was okay. And um, my girlfriend gave me a call. Her and her husband own their own company. And um, last Christmas, I went in and worked for them for a while. So she called. She said, Rosie, we're really, really short staffed. And could you come in for a couple of days and help us out? So I worked Thursday, Friday, all day. I'm exhausting. And I, I was in the back shop helping the girls out. And it's a promotional company. And... Um, did a lot of work. I was exhausted. I went to bed at 9.30 Thursday night. And uh, last night, Friday night, I went to bed at 10. I just couldn't stay up any longer. I didn't get to watch the uh, first uh, game of the World Series. And from what I read this morning when I got up, it was phenomenal. So I'm so sorry I missed it. If I have to, I may have a nap this afternoon. And that way I can stay up a little later. But we have no plans for this weekend. My husband said that uh, we could go out for dinner. He could order in. I'm going to say order in so I don't have to uh, get all dolled up. Not that I get all dolled up, but I like just staying at home on cold, yucky days, which um, it has been for the last few days in uh, southern Ontario here. We got down to almost zero, which I guess is 32 in the U.S., and we use Celsius. And today actually is going to be a nice day. It's going to go up to 14 degrees Celsius. And uh, I think my husband and I are going to be working in the gardens, covering some of the shrubs that need to be covered. We have um, so many rabbits in the backyard in the wintertime eating all our tiny shrubs. So we have to cover basically all our shrubs. It's even eaten some of our pine trees. So we have to be very careful. So I think that's what we're going to do this weekend because I don't think we're going to have that many nice weekends left. And um, then I'll be looking forward to Halloween on Monday. Really looking forward to that. I love seeing the kids. So let's get on to our finished items. My first finished item is this hat. And I'll put a picture of it in so you can see it better. I made this hat for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, a lot of the YouTubers have been doing it. Um, so I want to remind you, go get your mammograms done in Canada. I know we can start at age 45 and we can do it almost once a year if you have issues or if they see anything, they you can even get it every six months. So that's a thing. I um, have booked mine. It's not going to be till January, but that's okay. 
I have booked it and I will go in there and do it. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but we have to look after ourselves. So I want all you guys to think about it. Um, even if you don't want to do it, go do it. It's for your own health. So that's what I did. And this pattern is a bag of day pattern. Uh, let me see. Uh, I will list it below. It's um, called the Coffee Beanie and it's number 536. So Bag O'Day, I will list her below. She, um, her hats, I have a small head and um, I believe from other patterns I've made, I'm a loose crocheter. So her um, hat called for a six millimeter hook and I used a five and a half and um, it's a little big. I should have stopped one round lower, but I'll put a pom-pom on it and you'll never know, but I really like the way it turned out and I will be wearing it this winter because pink, pale pink goes with everything. And this was a leftover skein that I used for another project and it's just the Craftsmart Value yarn in the color pink. And it's so soft. I'm so pleased at Craftsmart. Um, it's not, it's a value yarn and it's not the best yarn, but um, I change my hats almost every year now that I can crochet. So it will last a couple washings without pilling up and everything. And um, then I'll make a new one. So that's my first finished item. My second finished item was the pumpkin I was working on. Uh, my granddaughter, I thought, wanted to put a face on it. And uh, nope, she drew a picture of a bat. So um, this is what I love about YouTube. I just um, went into the search engine part of YouTube and found a bat. And it whipped up in maybe 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes. I had interruptions because Paige was here. <laughs> um, so I put a bat on it and she just absolutely adores it. So I'm uh, excited that I could follow the pattern, no problem. And she loves it. So uh, that's my first finished item. or second, this was my first finished item. And the last finished item I have is another Dragon Queen shawl, uh, sorry, Drama Queen shawl or the Dragon Scale shawl. So this one, it's exactly one full skein and it is for Paige, so I don't have to worry. This is the perfect length and she'll use it as a scarf. And I used Red Heart Unforgettable and the colorway in this was uh, stained glass. I'll insert a picture of the truer color here. Because I'm not getting true colors on my computer. I think I am going to get myself a uh, one of those rings so the colors and the lighting is better. We'll start with that. And um, hopefully you'll be able to see the colors better. And then I have asked Santa for a camera so I could actually um, vid video on camera instead of I video right off my computer. So I just use my computer camera. So I'm sure once I get a camera, it will be better and more focused and the proper uh, colors and everything. And with ring light, that's the word I was looking for, a ring light. So we'll start with the ring light and hopefully Santa brings me a, uh, a camera. And let me see, that's it for my whip. So I'm really pleased with this. She's gonna love it. And like I said, I didn't have much time, but I did get some projects completed. And everything I have mentioned, I will put down below. And I love YouTube to find patterns, to learn new stitches and um, I'm on my wish list for next year. I am going to try and learn how to do a tutorial. I um, am fairly new. I've only been crocheting for three years, but I love it. And I think I've progressed enough that I could maybe do a tutorial. So hopefully in the new year with my new camera, I'll be able to try tutorials. And if it works out, that's wonderful. So that's it for my whip weekend number 29. 
I want to wish everybody a happy and spooky Halloween on Monday. Be safe and enjoy yourself and have a wonderful WIP weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.